Uh, finally, for some interesting story here. So we've been talking about games in the last few articles here. And what's interesting here now, uh, I'm a, I love playing games, so, you know, if I have time. And I own one Nintendo Switch console here, obviously for its portability. Especially when you go traveling, I cannot bring my PlayStation or even a PC or even if you have an Xbox here. What's interesting here, obviously, when you want portability, you still want to have a big screen now with the current Nintendo Switch. It's very small. Think about it. And especially the controller, you know, it gets tiring once you play it after a few hours and so. So, but you could buy... Uh, additional accessories to make it more enjoyable. But anyway, going back. So in this one, uh, a person in the name of uh, a YouTuber, Michael Pick, uh, who created the biggest switch of all time, according to him. So, so why did he create the biggest switch ever? Where was it? There you go. So how big is it? Well, it's as big as your table. So you can, as you can see here in, your, in the picture here, uh, it's almost six feet wide. No, not six feet, uh, six inches, but six feet wide, similar to your dining table. Uh, it has a 9.4 inch size. So that's diagonal. So what's interesting here, he said it's the world's largest uh, Nintendo Switch. Now, uh, how was he able to do it? He used a wooden frame. Uh, to create, uh, to put the 4K TV inside and with 3D printed buttons and an actual regular size switch handle inside the case. So to make it work, so you have smaller joy co controller inside the, uh, inside the device in a sense with several servo motors that translate the press into big buttons in the actual hardware here. So he used 3D printed joystick centered with rubber bands on top of smaller joystick stick so you can see here <laughs> so you can see here the actual dimensions here so it's pretty big <laughs> if you're... obviously it's not practical for you know playing it portably but you could set it up as your uh tv in one of your rooms especially for kids they would uh enjoy it as much now obviously uh he made it for uh to give it to uh what hospital was it so it was going to give it to as a gift to a hospital here. What was it? Yeah, it was supposed to be a gift here. And what's interesting here is, you know, people do always come up with, you know, innovative ways on how to make things interesting here, whether make it larger or bigger, brighter, or even, you know, just better, right? <laughs> Question is, would you be interested to buy one of those <laughs> if you were to sell it for retail here for mass consumption here? But obviously, you know, people can always come up with better ways on, you know, uh, better ways on how to improve products here. 